Every hour, enough sunlight hits the Earth's surface to meet the world's energy needs for a full year. Our goal is to harness that sunshine and to ensure that solar becomes a meaningful part of the world's energy mix. So take countries like India or South Africa, for example. These countries have a real need for electricity. They can skip over using fossil fuels and meet that additional electricity need through solar electricity. Or take China, for example. China is building one coal-fired power plant every week. Imagine if instead of doing that, they were at least using solar electricity to meet part of those energy needs. That's the way we can make a real difference. First Solar's mission is creating enduring value by enabling a world powered by clean and affordable solar electricity. So the definition of enduring means that we have to be sustainable. We look at it from a life cycle perspective from where we source our materials, to how we manufacture, and to what we do at the end of life, as well as how we build our projects. So for example, we, uh, we source our semiconductor from, as a byproduct from mining processes. Uh, so from copper mining or zinc mining. So we're actually using a byproduct from another manufacturing process to create our modules. We also have a voluntary recycling program and we reuse the materials that we recover uh, either in our own modules or we sell those materials uh, into the fiberglass industry, for example. Uh, so those are some examples of how we focus on sustainability. First Solar builds our power plants to last at least 25 years. That means it's really critical that we build them sustainably. We also work with cultural and biological experts who spend, depending on the project size, up to 10,000 hours walking through the projects to identify any biological or cultural concerns. In Germany, we have a project where we took a old Soviet military testing ground, cleaned it up, and put a solar project in. That project now is attracting endangered species of birds who are nesting in that area where they weren't able to nest before. Uh, so again, on the, on the sustainability front, we try and do whatever we can to ensure that the projects are sustainable and friendly to the, the biological diversity around them. Personally, I think it's really important that each one of us be a steward for the Earth's finite resources. I'm worried about the legacy that we're leaving for our children and grandchildren and their children and their grandchildren. That doesn't mean that we have to do without, but what I think it means is that we have to do things a little differently. So, personally, I've put solar modules on my roof. I bike to and from work. I've designed a landscape for our house that doesn't use a lot of water. Each one of us can do things differently, but each one of us should do something to make a difference.